Hi and welcome to a new episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about my T-Rex 450L Dominator from Alliant. On the last video I changed the rotor head and swash plate from the stock Alliant parts to the turret parts and the video you can see in the link somewhere up here in the video. Today I'm gonna change the swash plate servos, the original Alliant servos have a lot of mechanical play in the gears and I'm gonna change them to these KST servos, uh, the DS315MG, these have zero mechanical play and this is the reason why I am do the change and today I do the installation and the setup for the helicopter. Before we start the installation, we have a short look at the servo specs. Um, there are some specs on the package and yeah, just have a look at it. These are the specs. All the details you can also find in the links in the video. And we have a look at the cable. You get around 21 centimeters of cable with this servo. So here we go, servo on zero and then we have 20 uh, something between 20 and 21 centimeters of cable that should be okay for a 450 helicopter and what you also get is some accessories uh, different servo arms and servo arm screws and also mounting screws for your servo but we do not need these screws because there are screws on the frame from the helicopter we can use for the servos too. Now let's take the helicopter apart, remove the old servos and install the new ones. So now I have removed all the frame parts I need to have access to the fly barless system where the servos are connected and I also removed all the cable ties where the servo cables were fixed to the frame and now it's time to remove the servos out of the frame. So this is how the mounted servos look like and next step will be to mount the servo arms. What is very important to make sure that your servos are centered before you put on your servo arms. All the setup with the fly barless system you have is very individual so I won't go into the setup for the fly barless system but important basic step is make sure your servos are centered before you put the arms on it and do the whole setup, mechanical setup and setup for your fly barless system. The cables I will clean up at the end of the installation. First I want to have a look if everything works. So let's check the servo arms. We have the original Alliant arm and we have the KST arm and when we compare these, I was at the inner hole of the Alliant servo so what I have to do is I have to use the second hole from center to have almost exactly same pitch range as I have it on the Alliant servo. Perhaps we have to go back a little bit with pitch settings because it's a little bit longer distance from center to the second hole but it's the closest one. Next step is to install all the servo arms. Now this is how it looks like after installation of the servo arms and the target what I had it was absolutely reached so I eliminated almost all the play I had on the rotor head. The swash plate had a lot of play, Alliance servos had a lot of play and we had some axial play on the rotor head. 
and after installation of the new KST servos when I move the plate holder it is just a absolute tiny bit of play and this comes from the swash plate. I don't know if you can see it but this is the only play you have in this setup. The rest of the mechanics are absolutely free of play and that's exactly what I wanted to reach. Now next step is to clean up the cables, put the frame back together and as soon as we have nice weather I'm gonna do a test flight. So this is how it looks like after putting the frame back together and cleaning up a bit the cables. Most important thing you have to be aware of is that your cables do not touch any moving parts. So no servo arms, no gears and like this it's pretty safe. So the servo cables run right through here. Cable tie here is very important because of the main gear and then it goes down and here you have the whole pack of your cables which go to the fly barless system matters where you have your fly barless system for sure but in my case the fly barless system sits down here in the frame so i have to go down with all the cables to this position here so that's the mechanical setup for the servos all the electronic setup you have to do for your own fly barless system is not included in this video just because it's individual. This is all for today. I hope you liked the video. Have a good time. Happy flying. Bye bye.